This is tutorial 1-1 in GIS Tutorial 1 Basic Workbook. In this tutorial, we're going to open and save a map document. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up ArcMap. And you're going to go to the Start button right here. You're going to go to All Programs. You're going to find the ArcGIS folder. And you're going to select ArcMap 10. Now, if you use the program a lot, you might want to click and drag and move it to the desktop and that will create a shortcut or you can right click send to and click on desktop to create a shortcut whenever you open up ArcGIS you're going to uh, have a window pop up asking if you want to open up an already existing map or if you want to create a blank map with a template and this is the box right here uh, this is the existing maps and this is the new maps but uh, we're going to start with a existing map so we're gonna click on browse for more and we're going to go to our C drive that's where I have my Ezra press folder located we're going to double click on that and we're in the GIS T1 book so we're just gonna click on that we're going to go to maps and we're going to choose tutorial 1-1 and it's always important to know where your uh, your work is being stored if you are doing a project it is wise to create a folder before you even start it and here we have our map just gonna zoom in as you can see we have a US states layer that's turned on and we have a US city layer that is off that's what it looks like when it's on and with that loaded now what they want us to do is save this so what they want us to do is they want us to go up to save button you can either save and it'll save over this uh, mix file but in most cases you're going to want to use the save as uh, the reason being is once you save this it overrides whatever was there previously so if you make a mistake it's harder to start over so it's always wise to uh, create a, another copy so we're going to save as we're going to go to our GIS T1 folder. We're going to go to My Exercises, Chapter 1, and we're going to save it here as Tutorial 1 1. With that done, that concludes this tutorial.